hurt the page. He's asking for you, and it's not good. Rose? He wants some time alone with you, Joe. I'll be right here. Leslie, I'm scared. Joe loves his dad so much, and if Patty dies... Well, then we have to control Joe. I know. I don't know how we're going to do that, though. Well, I think the first thing is we have to keep our eyes on him every minute. You know where he's going to go, don't you? Of course, he'll go to Frank Smith, and he'll wind up dead, too. What are we going to do about Jennifer? Uh, we're going to have to go ahead with our plan. We'll just have to start without Joe. Leslie, I don't know. Now, wait a minute. No, no, you keep your eye on Joe. I will go to Albany. Alone? Of course. Well, I think Smith would get a little suspicious if we both showed up, don't you? I am going to... I will just start by getting Jennifer away from her aunt. Take her on a trip, a little travel, a lot of fun, right? Get her out of her father's reach somehow. Well, then what? Then, then we have to convince Smith that unless he protects Luke and Laura, no, unless he gets Luke and Laura back here, that something terrible is going to happen to Jennifer. You think we're going to be able to do that? Of course we can. We have to. Yes. Everything's secure. You double the guards. They're on their way right now. What about the grounds? I checked them myself. There's nothing in the garden except flowers. You check for footprints? Absolutely. That's standard procedure. I mean, no one's set foot on the property except for uh, who belongs here. As a matter of fact, if it make you feel better, I'll patrol all night myself. Okay? Thank you, Ron. I hope you don't think I'm being overly cautious. Hey, there's no such thing. No such thing. As a matter of fact, you know, there's something in the air uh, out there. I don't know what it is. Even I feel it. I have reason to think that the Luke and Laura problem will be solved tonight. Did you hear from the hitman? Yes. Well, that's terrific. I mean, that might be part of the reason you're so jumpy. It'll be a relief when that whole fiasco is over. With Luke, Laura, and Hutch dead and the black book back in its proper place, we won't need to worry about anyone stealing the gold from the left-handed boy or knowing too much about the organization. Then we can get, probably get back to some normal business, huh? Absolutely. And I'll be able to bring Jennifer home. Most of our problems will be solved. Most of them, yes. We still have to decide what to do about Joe Kelly. Last time I called the hospital, his father was in critical condition. They don't even know if he'll make it through the night. Where's Rose? She's out in the lounge. Do you want me to get her? Oh, no, no. It's no hurry. No hurry. I got plenty of time. You got all the time in the world. Oh, that's the way to talk. Oh, I wanted to see you alone, Joe. You know, there was a time when that statement would have scared the pants right off of me. Mm -hmm. You used to mean you were going to get a licking. Nine times out of ten, yeah. yeah. You were a real handful. <laughs> Your mom used to say, well, never mind. Oh, no. You can talk about it. It's all right. Mom used to say I was a chip off the old block. There was nothing she could do about it. Kelly, that's the uh, closest you've ever come to ever making a positive statement about me. Oh, we want to spoil you, would we? No, I guess not. I've been thinking about your mom, Joe. The past few days. I'm going to be seeing her. And don't talk foolish like that, Bob. Irishman like me. I just wanted to tell you, though. And it's all right. You've got to keep fighting, Bob. I've been fighting all my life, Joe. It's time to rest. Now, look, I'd never want to hear my old man was a quitter. What? You're right about 
about that. I never did like walking away from a good fight. Well, come on, just hold on, Pop, and we'll put you right in the thick of a good one. Really? Well, so what do you think I've been doing waiting around like this for? I'm just about to make my move on Frank Smith, and I can't do it without you, Pop. I need you, Pop. I need you too, Joe. I need to talk to you about rogues. You gotta take care of her. Promise me that. That's all I ask. Of course, I won't be around to do it. Oh, now, what kind of fool statement is that? I didn't come around here to listen to... Bob? Pop? Pop? Keep Look out, Joe. Look out. Get out. right now. I think it'd be a good idea. Just come on over here and sit down. Joe, listen to me. Yes, just one moment. Dr. Weber? Yes. It's for you. Oh. A Frank Smith. Yes, Frank? Leslie? Yes. When I called the hospital earlier, about Patty Kelly's condition. I was concerned about him. How is he doing? He just died. What a tragedy. Yes. It was brutal and senseless. Please give Joe my condolences. I'm so sorry. I'll tell him. Leslie? Yes? Are you crying? Patty Kelly was a wonderful man. Yes, Frank. I'm crying. Joe, look at me. Now look at me. Now you think about Rose. And don't you go out there and do anything crazy because Rose is going to need you now. You can't go to Frank Smith. You know what's going to happen to you if you go to Frank Smith. You promised Leslie and me that you were going to help get Luke and Laura back safely. Now, just remember your plan. Think about your plan, okay? We have the address. Leslie Weber got it, and we didn't tell you. Joe! Stop! He killed my father! It's going to pay. 